The Christiansburg Fire Department is battling alongside one of their own as he continues his fight with cancer. 10 News reporter Connor Dietrich joins us live from the newsroom tonight. Connor, you got a chance to see everyone come together for a very special event tonight. I did, John. All the firefighters came together to shave their heads for Jeremy Compton. And if you ask them, they'll tell you it's not about the hair when they need it most. Christiansburg firefighter is in a fight of his own. 35 year old Jeremy Compton was diagnosed with cancer in 2020. After years of treatment and hoping things could turn around, Compton found out the cancer is terminal. You have to stay strong for your family and for your kids. Even when Compton finds himself in moments where he can't be strong, his fellow firefighters are there to battle alongside him. So when it was time for Compton to shave his head, all the firefighters joined in on what they called the haircut party. Overwhelming. Compton almost lost for words to see the support. I'm blessed to have the support I have. 20 firefighters shaved their heads, including Brandon Turner. Turner, who's a close friend of Compton, says it's natural for firefighters to be there in times of need. We don't go see people on uh, when they're having a good day. Uh, we see them on their worst uh, time. When it's a little closer to home um, and it is your brother, um, he is family. Compton says he doesn't think about the end. Rather, he chooses to live out each day to the fullest. Nobody is guaranteed tomorrow. You live every day like it's going to be your last. Have fun. Um, do the things that you want to do. Whether that means hugging his son or laughing with his fellow firefighters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Compton says his life has been a series of battles and he's ready for one more. And the Radford Fire Department is also showing their support by collecting donations for Compton's family. You can find out about how to donate over on our website at WSLS.com. Live in the newsroom, Connor Dietrich, 10 News, working for you.